Hey guys, we're back. We are back. What's up? I'm gonna play some more like an Zorg. I figured, you know, since I've uploaded a live deck match, live deck PTCGO live, I guess, for the first time in forever, we might as well celebrate by playing even more games with the deck, am I right? <laughs> that way, well, that way we can have a little bit of fun. Talking to you guys, I'll fix all the stream stuff. But what's up, no, sorry for the late stream. I just got back, I had to pick up my brother from work. But we are here right now, and I am tired, I am sleepy, I should be getting a nap in so I can do all my homework tomorrow morning. But your boy is, uh, irresponsible. Don't be like me, kids. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and tweet that I'm streaming. What's up, Joey? Isidro? Maxwell? How you guys doing? All of you guys, I bet all of you guys look wonderful today. Uh, 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 don't tell me. You're wearing blue. Just your color. It's looking good. <laughs> Late stream, but we live. Boom, boom, boom. Control C. Tweet. Put it on the Discordingtons. If you're not in the Discord, guys, I don't know what y'all doing. Join the Discord. Should I make a video? I don't know if I should make a video about the. Uh, New cards are released. Catnap, black, but close enough. Hey, you know what? They both start with B, and that's what matters. He's watching Dennis's Stella Stila deck video. He has a Stella Stila video? I didn't even know that. <clears throat> Wearing white and red, sir. Look, man. All you're missing is the blue. American flag, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> I pulled a Flower Gyarados earlier, but it's trade lock sadness. Let's go ahead and pull up the Lycanroc Zoric deck. I knew, I don't know if I want to play Compressor. The more I think about playing it, the more I don't like. Notification brought you here. Hey, Richard, Richard, thank you for joining the superior. Po I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Lycan. All right, so here's the current deck list. I think I have another one that I want to delete. Yeah, I think this is it. Well, hopefully this isn't the one I can't delete. I gotta start the other one. I gotta start cleaning up my account, bro. Alright, this should be it, right? This one plays the one of Compressor. Oh no, I took it out. I remember. I just remember I took it out during stream. I almost freaked out uh, during the video. Play War Choreo. Four Puzzles. Oh, yeah, I played Target Whistle now. That's right. I like Target Whistle. And I put in a fourth. Okay, cool. We're gonna try this deck out. Drop... Drop, yeah, I already dropped the compressor. <clears throat> like, in theory, it's nice, but, like, it's one of those things where if you can't get it early, then what's the point? Honestly, I want to play Gladion with all the... If you guys watch the live decks, you, you live matches, you guys know. <laughs> you guys know. Gladion wouldn't be that bad, you know? Two games, that prize like, two or more Zorax. Like, what is that? What is that garbage? One size in total would be huge. Hmm. You know, I'm not against the idea. I'm definitely not against the idea. I could only two fighting. Yes, you don't. You're not attacking with Lycanroc. Lycanroc is just there to like attack if you absolutely need to. But you're attacking with Zork all the time. When you hit like 210 with a choice band, <laughs> you know you definitely feel no shame attacking with Lycanroc. This hand, this hand's kind of awkward. Hopefully we have Bridget. But we are going first, which is nice. Ooh, we're playing Gyarados. Okay, so this is why I play the Oracorio. The awkward part is. He's going to destroy me. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to drop Seeker here. Because I want to keep these things in my hand. Uh, Gyarados is going to be a problem. Let's see. Bridget. What's up, baby girl? Drop one Rockruff? Absolutely not. If I were to, if I were to drop a Rockruff, it would be for a uh, Toad. Because I like the idea. But that's about it. I'm not dropping Rockruff. It's so important. Plus, it gives you more basics and... Surprisingly enough, you do have a hard time filling up your bench sometime playing this deck. Yeah, it's expanded. This is the, I don't know if you guys saw the video, but we uploaded a video earlier today. It's kind of crazy. Orb, I'm uploading a video in 2017. Wild. Uh, <laughs> I'll put down one rock rough. We don't really need it, but we'll put it down anyways. We gotta be careful. I want to attack with Oracorio, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be a thing that happens when you lead with it. I could drop the Shaman now. I'm kind of thinking I should. No, I don't really need anything right now. I'm pretty set. I'm going to pass. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really need anything in my hand. 
Yeah, the rock ruff is there because it helps fill bench space as well as helps you pre prevent prizes. Maybe I'll play the Gladion and take all the rock ruff. You never know, bro. Dude, me and my Gladion session, my dudes. Monster Memorial. I find if you fill your board up a few too many times and they keep taking off your sky field, you, becomes, you become SOL late game. That's why you play puzzles, big dog. And I also play a stretcher. So if I need to, I can stretch her twice a game, put three basic, put six basics back. Yeah, between stretcher and puzzles, you should be okay. Not to mention, if you absolutely need to, you can always put down an egg. He's gonna end me, which is pretty annoying. So I'm pretty happy I did not shame in there. But I'm a little bit upset I did not attach a DC, but it's okay because our hand was just like, I got you, big dog. And man, did my hand give me. So the thing is with this matchup, right, is I don't really need that many Pokemon down. But I still want to put down my Rock Ruff just because Lycanrocks are going to be pretty nice, knocking out these problem child children back there. And as long as Oracorio stays alive, we're in, a, we're in a good place. You know what I want to do, actually? I kind of want to AZ my Acerola, my, my thing, and that's about it. But actually, I do want to retreat as well. So I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm going to see if I can find a way to retreat. He has one Pokemon down. Is there anything I need besides Floatstone? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm going to rock with uh, this, try to get a Floatstone here. Nice. <laughs> it's like the first card. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I'm just afraid of like a blow up turn here. You know what I want to do? I want to put down another Zorua. I kind of want to do that actually. Mm, I'm going to drop Hex with the trade. Because I want stuff to Ultra Ball away and I don't want Ultra Ball away just the Hex. Like I want to keep the rest of these cards in my hand. I know I don't need you. But. Hmm. Let's see. Because I need another Zorua down. See, that's not ideal. We can drop a Rock Ruff. I don't want to drop a Skyfield because he's going to have a Stadium a lot. Even though we don't need a full bench. It's still kind of nice. Drop a rock off here. I don't want to drop float. Float's too good. We have only two lichen rocks in the deck. I think I have to drop a sky field. Float's gonna get me out of so many situations, but hmm. I mean, I mean, I do, I do play puzzles. Whatever. I'm not too worried about it. I play puzzles. I want to ideally get this out and get some big knockouts with a one prize attacker at some point. There's a reason why I'm making this play. Yo, what it do, what it do, how you doing, Barney Swim, what it do, what it do. Alright. See, the awkward part is that I, if I had Russian right now, it'd be really good for me. Oh, well, we're fine. It's not a big deal. We'll just ride his beat. So it was nice. Did you swap out the AZ for... No, I'm not. I'm. Uh, it's like I mentioned before. AZ, 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 uh, AZ has so much more potential in this deck than Acerola does. Because one, you play Special Charge and Puzzles. So it's not even a big deal getting your DCs back. But more importantly, uh, you want to remove these Pokemon that are never going to be damaged from the field. Because of the the because that will prevent your opponent from getting knockouts. He's playing smart. He's putting back his stretchers, which is a good play. <clears throat> But I, 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 I said I wanted to play both. I'm never going to take out AZ, because AZ is too good. AZ means you can remove Shamus off the field, Lele's, Pokemon that could be knocked down, taking two prizes of easily. But, uh, yeah, I didn't want to play Sudowoodo. Even though, ah, Sudowoodo is kind of important in this matchup. But uh, if you put an Acerola, you're relying on them being damaged, which is not always going to happen. All right, hopefully he whiffs everything. That'd be ideal. Dude, you need to check your GameStop this week. Today, mine has a clearance sale for Guardians Rising League Trainer boxes worth twelve dollars each. Yeah, I saw. I don't have money, so I can't do that. Speaking of money, donations, guys. We have two more days left for the big giveaway. So he's putting me in range. But I'm gonna go ahead and put everything on the f board because I forgot. Because uh, my boy Swampers not here. What's up, Tiny Orange? Did you get a notification? Hit that bell, and if you haven't, I guess reset the bell. Don't know what to tell you other than that. So we have double puzzle now. I don't want to do anything though. I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. Cool. What it do? I guess AZ is nice if you're getting stalled, but I love how Ace keeps your energies in hand. Yeah, I, I feel you. I feel you. That's why I wanted to play both, because I like the idea of it too. But, well, I don't know, man. AZ is just too strong. 
It's just too strong in a format that plays Shaman. I guess we're grinding the ladder playing this as well, which is good because I want to get my uh, second floor Bridget. Are you familiar with ROM hacks? Dude, I used to play them all the time on the channel, yeah. AZ over Super Scoop Up because Scoop Up isn't a supporter. Yeah, but it's also a flip. <laughs> so there's that. Could you turn down the 4 watt? It's triggering my OCD. Could you turn down the 4 watt? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm so confused. Is the music too loud? I don't oh, wait a minute. Speaking of music. My bad. Dude, what's happening with the music right now? Can you guys hear the music? Or is OBS... That's so weird. Somebody let me know what the music if you guys can hear the music. If not, I might have to reset the stream real quick. If you AZ a stage two, can you pick up the basic or do you have to discard? No, you pick up the whole Pokemon line every time you put a Pokemon back again. Okay, the music's looking fine, never mind. Whoa, it's Boromb. <laughs> What's up, homie? Dude, why do we keep not leading Zora, bro? No music, but there should be music now, right? Or should I turn it up or something? I don't know. Opening hands kind of cheeks. Now it's playing? All right, cool. Yeah, there was an issue before. It looked like it was like glitched out. Okay, we're playing against Dark Ray. Uh, we should be okay. Hey, I thought you were not going to stream tonight. What changed your mind? I got a lot of energy because I ate food. I decided I'm just gonna stream anyways. <laughs> Adventure Red Chapter is finally about to be finished. Hey, we can actually play that on Twitch. That seems like a lot of fun. I was waiting for that game to be finished, bro. Alright, cool. Is anyone else considered a Crimes Org GX with Arkham GX isn't called the Fox and the Hound? I mean, we can call it that right now. I could rename my stream at this moment if you want me to. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Dude, look at this hand. Oh, so much power. <laughs> I don't know what to do, big dog. I'm gonna pass. Oh, I'll open up Audition by Accent. What food? I just had, uh, what did I have? I had sushi. I, just went, I was just like in a sushi mood, and I was like, I'm going to buy some sushi. It was an awful idea. I went to HGB, got some sushi. It was awful. Atrocious. We have 20 people here and 6 likes. Drop a like on the stream if you have not already. Join the Aura Army. Give it the power. Okay, so now we can course. I guess. <laughs> this is doing nothing this game except, I guess, potentially putting things in range if I need to. Yo, how's this man now? 3k? Subscribe? Hey, tell him again. We're so close. We're so close to 3k, too. I don't think we're going to hit it. Oracorio or Karen Toad? See, I think Oracorio is better because of how popular Gyarados is getting right now. Because Oracorio just kind of blows away Gyarados in the right situations. Um, so that's why I took out the Karen and put in Oracorio. Originally, the decklist had Karen. Um, and I'm not against Karen Toad. I think Toad is just good. Uh, but... I, I didn't have, I just don't feel like you need both Oracorio and Karen in the same decklist, so I took out the Karen. Oracorio is just a little bit more versatile than Karen is. Dude, Infinity War, bro? Can we talk about Infinity War for one second? That's looking pretty hype. Dude, I like, it was a good way to start my morning, bro. What's there? Oh, okay. Dude, Tiny Orange has been coming down to a lot of streams lately. Shout out to you, big dog. But what's up, Richard? I didn't say your name. So how you doing, big dog? Nice to see you. Dude, if I could top deck an Ultra Ball, that'd be kind of nice. Yeah, if it wasn't for Gyarados, I'd probably stick with Karen. But Gyarados. You know, I really need this Rockruff to attack in this game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw seven. Nope, eight now. I don't want to play down more choreo. Whatever, I gotta play down Pokemon. In 8K, Orbum, are you truly enjoying your gaming experience? Do you really feel entertained by the, this particular game? Do you get the butterfly in your feeling, or are you wasting your time? I don't know, bro. But thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. <laughs> the timing of that was impeccable. <laughs> Have any of you played The Witcher 3? Do I heard The Witcher 3 is amazing. I want to see the new Star Wars movie December 14th. Hey, good luck. Did he not? Oh, he drove. Shame, bro. I'm about to get the most meaty chorus. I mean, so is he, but I'm about to get a Meteor Chorus. My bro is, like, going ham right now. My dude is going ham. <laughs> and after all that, he's only hitting for 100. Wait, we take those. 
He has so many targets on the bench for me as well. Alright, so if I can get a full bench. Oh, he's playing Soto Widow. I can't get a full bench. Never mind. Um, we got Ultra Ball. That's something worth mentioning. Let's drop Whistle and Skyfield. I think I'm going to get Zoark just right now. For now. Just so I have like something that I can do damage with. Uh, I do want to attack with Rockruff at some point. But this is not the turn I can do it. Mm, I'll play you down for the sake of thinning. And we'll get ourselves our own meaty colors here. Nice and meaty. Beefy choruses, bro. Drop more of you. Get a lichen rock. It's not ideal, but it's something. I haven't traded yet, so I can trade a hex here since he doesn't really have room for abilities anymore. Actually, that's not true. If we play hex at the right time, we can get a big knockout. This is really bad for me. Having all these fighting energies right now, it's super awkward. Oh, we'll hit from our two KO. What are the meta decks for this format? There's so many, bro. <laughs> but like from the looks of it, let me let's go let's go look at uh let's go to Limitless TCG together. I can name you all the meta decks based on San Jose's uh, tournament results. Let's see. San Jose, dude, Dennis is on here, guys. Can you believe that crap? Dennis Perez. Was that him? No, I think he's Dennis Moore. Well, I don't know what his last. I think it's Dennis Moore, cause no, he didn't play Evolve, so he played he played Guardy. Yeah, Dennis made 18th, guys. Can you believe that? My boy Dennis. Anyways, we have uh, Night March made the top four besides one Zork, Lycan Rock, and second Gyarados, Waylord Stall, Galissapod, Zork, Silvalli Metal, and Expanded. I want to see that list. Um, more Guardies, Night March, more Gar more Zoarks, more Lycan Rock, one Eveltal Darkrai, and that's it. So you have like what six different decks? So there you go. There's your meta right now. Watch out for Guardi, Lycan Zoark variants like Glisspot, Lycan Rock, and Straight with the foul play. Um, Gyarados, Waylord Stall. So be careful when you're playing against Mill. And uh, there was a singular Eveltal Darkrai. I'm not too sure what that's all about. It doesn't seem like a very good deck right now, but that dude must have had some, uh, had played that deck really well. You can judge the caliber of a man by how thick his choruses are. This is true, man. It's like <laughs> T H I double C. <laughs> You're going to Midnight Premiere Last Jedi? That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. So uh, this is a little bit awkward. Because I don't want to attack with this one, I want to AZ it. Uh, and I don't want to get rid of my fighting energies. So there's a lot of things I don't want to do here. I think we'll get rid of one fighting energy though, because I kind of have to. Because I need that Soto Widow. Hey, this is kind of nice actually. Do I want to easy? Um. He's going a little bit turbo. I don't think he plays, like, I don't think he would play Rescue Stretcher in a Zoark deck. So let me go ahead and Lycan Rock first to bring out that Soto Widow. Attach this here. I could play Hex. Here's what I'll do. No, I already traded for the turn. Um, I'm trying to think, because I want to preserve this. And I want to preserve this because I want to play Hex. Mm, maybe I don't need to. How many VS Seekers are gone? None. Alright, we'll just toss the VS Seeker then. Because ideally, I get a second Zork and can attack with it. I can just AZ here as well, actually. Lele into a AZ. Oh, wait, Mike. Yes, I can AZ because I can evolve this bench one. That would give me another turn to play trade as well, even though I'm not going to use it with anything in particular. I guess I could get rid of the choice ban, but I, actually, you know, I don't really need the choice ban. I'm okay with that play. Oh, wait a minute. No, I lose the choice ban. That's right. I forget. I forget about that. So, I'm so used to standard. I'm very, very used to standard. Um, okay. So I can't really trade right now, so I'm not going to bother. I'm going to wait till another 
thing gets in the discard pile. I don't get a knockout here though, do I? No, I do get a knockout. It's only 100 XP. Yeah, we get a knockout. Yeah, we'll just beat. All right, so we should fit, this should free up our bench. I don't think he'll play stretcher. Maybe he'll play puzzle. I'm not too sure. But uh, this should be good for now. Anyways, back to the chat. What's up, Nebby? First spawn. Why aren't you playing Judge Marshadow? Bro, that's a genius idea, actually. That might be something I do. I mean, there's a lot of matchups where it's not useful, though. Just because Shaman exists. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, Shaman and Zorax exist. Which will get you out of that situation. What's up, Nelson? Did we add an Ace Roller? Did, did you add Ace Roller over AZ, or did you play it with it? I'm partaking in a League Cup soon, though. Hey, good luck, bro. Apparently, we have one in December. It's so whatever, I guess. <clears throat> playfully slapping each other while walking home, and a woman stopped in the middle of the road, get out, and got out and yelled at us. Bro, me and my friend were playfully slapping each other a long time ago, bro. My buddy, <laughs> it was on the bus. I kid you not. He slapped my glasses out the window. I was sad. All right, how am I gonna do this? I think we have, we're gonna have to let Zorak go down here as long as we can get a knockout. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, do I have a draw spot? I have a chorus, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna save the special charge still. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and play chorus here ourselves. I just want stuff, I want Pokemon down, I want things, I want stuff. So give me all the stuff you can. Look at all that stuff. Oh, that's some tasty stuff. We got double puzzles. We got another DC in hand. Uh, how many Pokemon do I need down? I want a field blower, so we can still trade here, I guess. What do we trade? Do we trade Guzma? See, I don't want to trade the Pokemon because I might use it. Hmm. Huh. I want blower or stretcher right now. Uh, I guess we trade the Guzma. Oh, we have a Zorak in hand that we can evolve, can't we? Look at this epic drawing fiasco. Trade the Sycamore. Can we get a Pokemon? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 71, 40. Field Blower. Okay. So now we have to hit 220. I don't think we can hit 220. So we're going to have to evolve. Oh, we can't evolve this turn either. Yeah, we can't hit 220. Well, we would feel blur. That's really unfortunate. Um, is there any way I can try to get it? I'm not really seeing it. Uh, that's really annoying. So we don't get a knockout here. We can't Guzma. <sighs> that's unfortunate. That's really, really, really unfortunate. Maybe I should have evolved into this. Why do I, did I have this in my hand? I don't remember. Definitely should have made that play if that was the case. Hmm. It's unfortunate, man. Guess we just do our damage. That really sucks that we whiffed that hard. Unless I'm doing math, unless I might be doing math wrong. Uh, whatever. <sighs> That's unfortunate, man. Anyways, back to the chat comment section or the chat. Friend went over AZ. I found room for one of each, but I can definitely see dropping AZ. Nah, I like the AZ too much. But we'll see. I'll keep testing. Zoark is super unfair and expanded. You think so? You know what was really unfair and expanded? Uh, what's it called? Oh, that's annoying. Um, Mega Ray. Then Sotowoto was a card. So why don't you just play Sotowoto? <laughs> Definitely slows down, especially if you play it with like stretcher and stuff like that. Is he not gonna attack me with this? He's just gonna weaken everything. Is he is he gonna play like a pocket espion? Cause I want to knock this thing out, bro. Well, now we have field blower. If only I did a little bit more damage, I could have blowered that thing away for a knockout. Dude, what if I played like a necrozma here? That'd be super nice. Uh, we can actually just take a knockout here cleanly with this. So do I want to play? It's computer search, and what do I want to play it for? I could definitely Guzma right now and take out this big threat that's Marshadow, since he only plays, I'm sure, the one of. I'm going to do that, actually. I think it's a monster. I don't want to play Lycanroc yet. I want to save Lycanroc. 
Uh, I can still attach an energy to the Lycanroc as well. With double puzzle, we get our DCs back. So we're in a really good position here. This is free, two free prizes. And we get to preserve. And we kind of win the prize exchange this way as well. Kind of. We'll see. But he has enough Pokemon down there. If he gets like 11 Pokemon down there for some reason, we can get a knockout with Oracorio. <laughs> right now he has four. What was really unfair is Battle Compressor. Battle Compressor needs to be banned. That and Dimension Valley, bro. Just ban those cards. Just slowly grinding through the trainer challenge. Cool. Dude, my science teacher is a football coach. Bro, that was me with all my history teachers for like years. Have you ever tried to play new Coliseum mode in Xenoverse? It was free. Oh, that sounds dope. My sixth grade science teacher was my football coach. I don't know what's happening on screen because I'm reading the chat. So somebody let me know if something crazy happens that I didn't notice. Oh, we just played the thing. Oh, um... <laughs> I kind of want to get rid of his org, honestly. Maybe I should just get rid of Lele. Whatever. We can play puzzles, get our things back. It's a good last resort play, because he gets rid of all of his things on the bench. But with choice ban, we get a knockout anyways, but he's going to knock us out right here, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Have you tried the Zoark Psychic Box deck? I have not. I like playing Wob Necrozma Silvalli. That sounds like fun. <gasps> Wait a minute, dude. Psychic Silvalli with Wobbuffet? That doesn't work, does it? Uh, actually, if you attach a Psychic Memory, your Silvalli's ability works. Heh. <laughs> Potential. Poten dude, that's a, that's a future video right there. That's a future video right there. I think I want to knock out. Dark Cloak would be nice to knock out. Egg is good. Let's double puzzle here. What do I want with double puzzle? Get a DC back, I guess. Skyfield. Get Stretcher. Did I lose Stretcher yet? I don't think I did. Oh, Stretcher's in my hand, that's right. Hmm. Awkward plays are awkward. That's not the end of the world. We'll do this. So, got choice band in hand. So to hit 180, we need to hit 150, which is an odd number, which means we have to hit 160. 160 is eight, which means we need one, two, we need three more Pokemon down on the bench. Definitely possible. Let's do this. What about this? How much HP does this have? 180 as well, because I want to knock this out. Because it really ruins a lot of his strategy. So I'm going to do that first. Give me this. Because that way, everything else is weakened except for this. So it's not the biggest deal in the world. So I only want three more Pokemon down, right? Do I dare play down my Shamans? I don't think I do. What I can do is Lele Bridget. Oh man, now I have to double check with the Lele's in my deck. <laughs> um, I want the other Zoark back. I have more puzzles, so I guess I can get it back that way later. I'm going to be safe here and put the uh, Lele back. <clears throat> I think I start trading. Uh, do I trade though? I do trade. Um, yeah, I do trade. Alright, three more Pokemon. What's up, Blake, dude? Second spawn. All right, we got Lele. Do we even need Lele now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we can put down the egg, but I don't want to. Yeah, let's get Bridget. We don't have Bridget. Wait, Bridget's in our discard pile, isn't it? Or unless it's in the dis in the prizes. That's yeah, in the prizes. Never mind. All right, cool. I wasn't making a total mistake. Uh, okay, we have DCE. Do we have the last puzzle? Yes, we have the last puzzle piece. Blower. Cool. I'll grab N just to show my opponent I have it, I guess. Hmm. The only awkward thing now is that... Actually, I can still draw a basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. It's a lot of thinking, guys. Forgive me for taking so long. Let's see if I can draw one of my tasty, delicious basics. Clean. This is actually a really good one to get. Uh, he'll get rid of Shaman. 
I'd rather put this down first. Cool. We can get double puzzle, get the Zoark back, stretcher if we need deck space, whatever we gotta do. For now, we'll just beat my opponent. We will beat this man. So we should win, right? We just need one more knockout, and since we had access to double puzzle, we should be okay, as long as my opponent doesn't end me here to one and greet up like a Zoark or some shenanigans. Huh. Another copy of Arrested. What? Was, hey, 30 people and 16 likes. So yeah, guys, drop a like if you have not already. Was, good night, Derek. I want to see a game where someone targets whistle your eggs. I mean, it's going to happen. But we play the AZ, so it's all Gucci. I don't know what I want to drop yet. <clears throat> Still kind of debating what I want to drop. Guzma the Shea win. Yeah, I mean, Guzma anything and I win, honestly. But the hand is here, and looks like we win. What do you mean? Yeah, we just goose my here for game. Tomo played. This deck is too powerful. We're not gonna make it take too long. Uh, Goosingtons, thank you. Hmm. All right. Looks like this deck is a recipe for disaster, bro. Everybody be ready to play against it. All right, so Turbo Dark is down. He didn't play Nihilego then. That's his. That was where he went wrong. No Nihilego. He didn't charge a Dark Ride GX. That that was his first mistake. <laughs> but we're not gonna be streaming for too long tonight, guys. We are gonna give away, I believe, a Nine Tails GX when we do hit 25 likes. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking 25 likes. Uh, what's poppin' or how you been? I've been alright. But it's gonna be a short stream. I just kinda wanna play a couple games to like unwind, digest the food, you know what I'm saying? Just like get a rumbles, get the rumblies. What do I drop if I wanna play Acerola? This, I'm so glad I put a fourth one in. <laughs> Cause like, man, I was whiffing so much when I only played three. Uh, I've been the Tapu Coco GX. We'll blow that another day, bro. Like I said yesterday, I was gonna work on some competitive decks uh, today, so that's what we're doing. Play expanded eggy. That's the future, bro. That's the future. I know what I would drop yet. I might drop. I might just drop AC, uh, but I'm still like in that position where I think AZ is just too good to not play it. Or play one Nine Tails GX on Lapras. It helps in grass matchup. It also seems a little bit clunky. Either a floatstone or a choice band. Hmm. I'm more inclined to toss a choice band. We'll toss a choice band for now and see if I hate that later. I need a fly. If anybody has a, uh, let's see, Seeker or Eggs. <laughs> a, uh, you know what? Don't do this to your eggs. I just want full art trainers. If anybody has a full art Acerola, full art Guzma, full art Hex, I have the ends, and a full art Sycamore, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. I just like, I just want full art trainers. I don't want secret rares of anything. I just, I just like full art trainers all that. They're easy to see. Since like GX cards are so nice and easy to see nowadays too, like uh, in the thumbnail, it's really nice. Let's, uh, speaking of that, let's replace my ends for my full art. I don't have the promo one, which is fine. I got the more expensive one. Which I have to give, I have to do a tournament soon so we can give that away. But look how awkward it is now. Now I need these full arts. It's whatever. Eventually when I have money. <laughs> What's up Lupe? It's my boy Joey. How you doing, Big Dog? Bro, I have this deck maxed out. Don't talk to me about maxing it out. You have this deck maxed out? You have three Hyper Azorix? Wild. See, I don't care about maxing things out online, but I've been gifted. Like, look at all these full arts that you guys see right here. Every single one of them that I have, besides the nine, besides this, which I grinded the ladder for, these three full arts right here were all gifts from subscribers. This was actually from uh, Legend of Salsa. You guys see him in the stream a lot. This was like, oh, dude, he was like, a, he was, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I forget, I'm sorry that I forgot your name, bro. I forgot the person who gave me this. But he was somebody that just like, I guess he watches my videos a lot, but doesn't comment a lot. He's just like, he was like straight up, hey, 
I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you not having a follower, Bridget. Here you go. It just gave it to me in stream. Like somebody that barely ever comments. So shout out to you, big dog. And then this one, I think I pulled this one on stream. Like from buying a no, not from buying a pet because it's not locked. I think I pulled that one on stream. I was like, dude, this is my favorite full art, by the way. If you guys don't know, Getsis and Golhorius are like black. I feel like I don't know. Maybe it's the blue. I guess Orbom blue. Maybe that's what it is. But like black and white. No, Team Plasma full arts are absolutely gorgeous i want more of them like that i hope that we don't get full art prisms but if we do get like full art prisms i want them to look like that and it was just a bad girl oh you a oh, bad girl that's the one who did it all right was that you are you sure the peasant bridget yeah he called me he's like he's like i'm sick of you being a peasant with the bridget sorry that i forgot bro whenever you do things late at night for me i don't remember so that's my fault i apologize so this is awkward because I want a Bridget turn one. I think I will, anyways. We'll see. Chorus, really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I pulled it. I don't know. Maybe I didn't pull it. Maybe that was another gift, but I remember getting it. Cynthia, bro, I'm salty about Cynthia being a hollow rare. Eh, that happens. This is a good thing to top deck. Oh, we're playing against this. Oh, we're, we're, this is GG. This is, I'm definitely Bridgeting turn one. <laughs> I am 100% Bridgeting turn one. 100% Bridgeting turn one. 100. You cannot, can't stop, won't stop, bro. We're gonna get nothing but Zorax down. Uh, we have a Lele prized. How many DCs do we have prized? We have one DC prize, a Lele prize, and a Bridget prized. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Yikes, all right, so we have a Bridget prized, which is really bad. It's like super bad actually, because I, I need to get, what do I do? What do I do when I have a Bridger prize? You know what I'm going to do? It's item lock, I'm going to grab Ultra Ball. Oh, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you for forfeiting. <laughs> Whew. Whew. That was, that was almost scary. Oh, I just moved my thing somehow. Oh, I know I'm getting a set full art Cynthia. Dude, same. It's gonna cost me so much money. So I gotta save money now. But I also wanna get a bunch of boxes. Like, cause the set looks like it's worth it. So I've been stockpiling bulk. But I haven't been opening a lot of packs. So I actually don't have that much bulk. I have about 5,000, I think. And I don't think it's gonna be that much different by the time the set comes out. Oh, what's up, I bring the luck. Would love to stay for the stream, but dead are tired from the first round of finals today. Oh, yikes. Also had a bloody blast from playing with your PVD team. Hey, that's my boy. Guys will be streaming some Naruto Ninja Blazing at some point. What am I playing? Or I'm playing some Lycanroc like Zorak. I played will be uploaded today. If you guys have not seen that video, bonus brownie points for everybody that goes to that video and likes it. Because it's, it's, it's lacking on likes. And, you know, it's always good to like the video. You know, helps the channel out. Grows the aura army. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Every card on my account I grinded for. Never got a code. Peasant life. Dude, that's hashtag grind, bro. I don't have the paralyzing. I talked about it in the video, right? I want the paralyzing gay Zorua, and I want the foul play Zorua. If you guys don't know what I mean, and if anybody has this, these, let me know because I really need these. Well, let me show you guys. I was first one to like it's my boy Nelson. Brownie, I'm down, dude. I was about to leave, but did you say like and rock Zorua? We are playing like and rock Zorua. I've been waiting for that deck because I got you, big dog. I got you, big dog. Uh, but if you guys don't know, if anybody has this Zorua. I would greatly appreciate it if you pass me four. Um, it's one of these. It's not that one. I think it's this one. Nope. This one, yeah. If anybody has these Zorwas, I don't know what set this this one is, but if anybody has them, let me know. And if you have this Zorwark, I actually just recently got this one IRL. I found it at like a random shop. I don't know why I exited out. Um, it's one of these. This one. The foul play one. Is there a regular? Here it is. The Foul Blade Zoric, let me know. I need them. I don't have them online, and I can't find anybody that has them. But here's a deck list I bring to look if you're interested. <sighs> Excuse me. This is what we're rocking with right now, and I'm kind of liking it. I'm liking it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the video is so much fun to record. Also, the audio in my videos lately, bro, I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's so crisp. I don't know what happened. I changed a couple of settings when I did my audio editing, and now my audio in my videos sounds so nice. I'm super, I'm really proud of that. 
as a youtuber i need you guys to know that i'm crazy proud of that it's so hard to make it's so hard to find audio settings that work for you because audio is weird right you have to make settings that work with your voice and it's not easy to do especially for people like me that have like deep voices oh god like in jokes <laughs> Dude, love the liking jokes. The only thing that I don't like about Zoark is that the opening hands are such butt cheeks, bro. It's funny because Neuburn keeps bobbing me. Dude, Neuburn's hard, bro. Um, item lock is tough for this deck. Your voice on fleek. Thank you, Lucas. I appreciate it. <clears throat> really? Rocking the ladder with this deck? <laughs> don't think your opponents are liking it. That's my boy, <laughs> Monster Morale. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Speaking of item lock, dude, Nelson just spoke it to life. <clears throat> Totes butt cheeks, bro. Like super butt cheeks. And this is it's that isn't the same. I wonder if it's the same dude. Somebody go check the video to see if it's the same dude. Because if it's the same dude, that's hilarious. Open twenty crimson packs, only two Gyarados. Rip, dude. Pass them my way though. I need them. <sighs> okay, this is not bad actually because we get a torment budget. We get to replace the stadium with Skyfield. He can't attack me, right? Is he went first? Yeah, let's get this garbage out of here. No, thank you. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. No, okay. Now it's only if there was. Oh, I would have been so mad if he got like two more Vipers. I don't know why more decks don't do that, bro. I think if I were to play this deck, the, the game, the play for me would be like definitely Bridget just to get Vipers down. Anyways, um, Skyfield first. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I can, can toss. What do I toss? I, I kind of want to toss Field Blower because I want to get rid of this. I could toss the Zoroark, but I don't want to. So, how about. Let's just toss the Floatstone. I don't want to do that, but whatever. Let's lay lay Bridget. Please don't be prized this time. Please and thank you. Actually, I don't know yet. Are you prized? Okay, good. You're good. Thank you. Oh, I have two Zora Paralyzed Glance. Oh, dude, pass my way if you can. It's two less than I need. You can tell how bad a player is by how they throw away their lasers, pretty much. I mean, yeah, that was pointless, huh? Whatever. Um, how would you build Gyarados? Like, Gyarados GX? Carefully. <laughs> Carefully. Dude, if I had a Wally, bruh. <laughs> I'd probably end my soul. Make an Entei GX vid? I would, but Entei GX is absolute trash. So I don't think I will. <laughs> was that a little bit too harsh i don't like Entei. i wish i liked Entei. once they make a verbank stadium but for like gf for like burn then then i'll make an Entei video how about that deal <laughs> all right let's fill up this nasty bench real quick uh it's a little bit awkward actually i don't want to play any hammers because i learned my mistake from the video but I also don't want to pass. But I guess I have to pass. Who goes out if I pass? Lele, I guess. Do I want to do that? I mean, I have this to get a floatstone, but I also want to get... So it works. Ah, you know what? We'll be okay. Because we can ultimately play a draw support if we need to. I'm just going to pass. No, not you. Pass. Lele, there's no way he can knock out a Lele from full. We can AZ it later if we absolutely have to we have one in hand because we can play this get a zoark yada yada all right cool you don't know palkia uh this and latios poison are so annoying when leading a lone regular basic pretty much and for now i don't want the reverse foils because then i get ocd <laughs> i want all the right um and tastes super hard to make work yeah because it's super bad Planted with the Volcarona that increases burn damage in the expanded. I'm not gonna play I'm not gonna play an expanded list, guys. Don't worry about that. It's not happening. <laughs> Zoro, aren't you liking these scrambled eggs? <laughs> Go to sleep, you have breakfast to eat. Bro, I'm hungry. Speaking of breakfast. Um Okay. So 30, 60, 90, 120. It's not a knockout. 130, 160. Yeah. So it's not going to be a knockout. So I need a couple of things here to make this work. I need Skyfield. And I need a really, really, really good chorus. 
No, I can't play items. Never mind. Um, yikes. Uh, shouldn't have played that. I just realized. Oh, no. Okay, how am I going to do this? See, early game is so tough for Zorak to bounce back from because it's a hard to evolve. Uh, hmm. Maybe he won't play E-Hammer and I'll get lucky. Because I want to play... Hmm. For the sake of burning the supporter, I'll play it now. I'll pass. Just for the sake of burning the supporter. Because it gives me a supporter for next turn. I like mom. G or sorry, it's not Zoric. <laughs> everyone's mom is everyone's mom is telling us we gotta eat breakfast tomorrow. There's no way he gets a knockout here, right? He needs he can't get choice bands, so we should be okay. No, I will give you the non foils. I don't have any extra nasty pots though. It's fine. Why don't you play computer search? Because it's item. <laughs> computer search is an item card. Two puzzles and an item lock deck. Shout out to Chorus though, bro. Chorus being the meaty monster that it is. Hmm. So we draw for eight. If we had another Pokemon, it'd be more, but we do not. We can Sky Return if we need to. Get some chip damage on the board. Ooh, that's rough. He's gonna do 60 damage. <laughs> You know what's bad is having an almost complete set of Florida Sycamore and BS Junipers, but don't but just missing one of each copy, bro. That's whenever you go to the interwebs and you buy that extra one. Cause at that point you're just kinda sad. Alright. So I'm gonna really bank on Chorus here. And Falp and uh the other Zorak as well. I'm gonna bank. I'm banking. Watch me bank, guys. We're banking here. Alright, we got a Zorak. We were missing the other one, but we got a Zorak. We can actually bring up a toad if we absolutely have to, but let's make some let's make some trades. Let's trade some Pokemon cards, guys. Let's trade this. I want to use it, but like, eh, I want to keep everything else as well. Actually, oh, clean. But this isn't the other one. I need foul play. Whatever it's called, it's not foul play, but mind jack. Let's toss some items. We're probably not gonna need this. Maybe I should play a ranger. Maybe it's worth playing a ranger in this deck. Because this is getting out of hand. He already lost two DCs, so we're we'll seeing we can stall a pretty good amount here. But we do, the, this thing gets knocked out. Which sucks. I shouldn't have attached that DC. I should have been safe. I should have held on to it. Hmm. We missed Skyfield as well, which really sucks. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm already playing Hex, but Ranger would be only for this matchup. Because Trevenant's not a big deal, which I don't really have to play Ranger for that. But that item lock's not a big deal because you just destroy it with Zork. He did have DC. It's a yikes. So I need to find Skyfield. Not too sure how I'm going to do it. Oh, that's annoying as well. So I need to find Skyfield and DC, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know how to go about playing this. I think we're just going to have to stick more of the hand. If we even have another one. We're losing a lot here, but... I think it's worth... I don't want to evolve you just in case we get a turn. Um, Acerola wouldn't really do much for me. Let's trade first before I make any other play. Let's drop these items and try to get Skyfield. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's annoying. See, the thing is, if we Ace Rolla, we can just attack with this one, so there's that benefit. So I think I'm just gonna Ace Rolla. I just really want Skyfield. Bioplume is Hex, though. I already play Hex, don't worry about that. Um. That's not the concern. I need the Skyfield. How many Skyfields have I played already? Only one. There's still three more. This is why I maxed out my Skyfield count, but apparently it doesn't matter. 
<laughs> when you're Orbom, these things just don't matter. Uh, hmm. How to do what I want to do. Trade again, I guess. I'm going to deck out. Okay, we got Skyfield. Not enough Pokemon yet, though. Which means we're probably still going to need to play. Hmm. We need a full bench to get a knockout. And I still should have some Pokemon I can play down, but I don't think I have enough. Um, sure. Let's see how many Pokemon I got. So I need three more. I have exactly three more basics. Hmm. I have N, so I should be able to survive a couple extra turns if I absolutely need to. Uh, I want to play this down though, super bad. I could just get the two a KO. Where's my AZ? Did I already play AZ? Hmm. If he retreats, I can license. I can like and rock it out. I'll play slow. What's up, Vamp? It's tough, man. I think Ranger needs a spot. Because this is my second time. And if you play Ranger, you just kind of... You get you get to go off. Because you're Zoark, right? Zoark just goes off when it has access to items. Because I can get VS, you could get all my supporters back. Things like that. Can I get... I'm just going to assume I'm never going to break the item lock, so I'm just going to draw my puzzles. Can I get DC? This is a work. It's not a DC. I need a DC here so I can attack. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Whew, that was a monstrous sneeze. Um, I can hex, and that way he can't knock me out with poison damage. Is this turn considered ending? Like, does the poison damage take effect before or after the end of my opponent's turn? Like, if I were to like, if I were to play hex here, obviously I'm only going to take 10 damage from poison. But if I, if I were to come back, would I take 10? Would I take 10 or 50 damage from poison? That's something I don't know. Uh, for now, I'm going to test it. I guess. Uh, you know, that's just a theory. <laughs> we'll be here. If I can fill up my bench, I can take a big knockout on something. Ooh, so is good as well. All right, finals is going. Yeah, I feel you, bro. You stay up late. I got to go to bed. Good night, everyone. Be sure to do that wob video or eventually Dapper Dre. But I'll see you later, bro. Have a good night. He's got the Skyla. What's the Skyla do for him? It's not an end, so I'm pretty okay with that. So I guess it should. Uh, we'll see. I guess we'll learn if it takes effect or not. Uh, but this will knock me out, I think. No, it only does 20 extra damage, right? So I'm going to take 30 damage from poison, 30 damage from this, which is only 60. Assuming this is correct, I should be okay. But if it's not correct, then I just uh, kind of screwed myself over this game. I mean, we still have access to N. We have Soot, we have Skyfield. Uh, I, need, I can't really knock him out without Choice Band, which is a problem. I might have to just take this big knockout and hope for the best. Let's see. Just so everyone knows, GameStop, they're selling the Guardians Resident Evil train box for 23 bucks plus 50% off, comes out to like $13. Yeah, everybody go to GameStop. That's, oh, so, it, okay. So I do take all the extra poison damage. That's a yikes. <laughs> That's a huge yikes. All right, let's see what we can do here. I can avoid poison by attacking this. Um. First things first, let's play you. Um, I guess he's going to drop this if I play Soto Wodo, but I need more bench Pokemon, so i going to deal with it, I guess. We can play down Shaman. It's another bench Pokemon. Uh, hmm. I want to end. 
ultimately. So, and I need DC as well. Let's just start trading items. How many DCs do I have gone? Only two. I should have two more. So we'll drop another Ultra Ball. Yeah, I definitely need to play Ranger. Like, 100% need to play Ranger in this deck. I need to have a full bench. So one, two... One, two, three, four, five. So I need three more Pokemon. <sighs> All right. Just need one more Pokemon, bro. I already used up my last N. That's in my hand right now. Uh, so I can make the balls to the wall play right now. Sycamore here. And then win in two turns. Because I know I have one more basic I can play. I know that. I, I know that I do. And I know I have more Skyfields in the deck as well. So even if he bumps my stadium. I mean, if he bumps my stadium, I lose. Because I'm losing my Lycanroc here. Speaking of which. Attack the one on the bench. So we're not poisoned. Yeah. Until I can... Uh, I have to play Ranger. I don't think I have a choice, honestly. Because I can get Lele's relatively easily, but Ranger's, I feel, too important. So, either we have two Skyfields prized, or there's something wrong. <laughs> Last card is DCE, so we know we have two Skyfields prized. Cool. So we managed to get all of our Pokemon down. To see if he has a way to go to the stadium. If he does, then we're kind of done. There's my Orcorio. And we didn't get a single Skyfield. So even if we were even if we were to like to avoid the item lock, right? We would still be done. Because like I say, he doesn't item lock me. Um What's he doing here? Guzma. Oh he just knocks me out, huh? He knocks out an egg. Unfort. Not giving you the satisfaction, big dog. Alright, yep. Item lock is too much of a trouble for this deck. So we'll go ahead and uh, throw in the Ranger. That's the second time that that's happened. So, definitely want to fix that. What do we drop? What do we drop? We could drop the whistle, although the whistle is super useful. Hmm. I do not draw. No, I can. I'm either gonna drop the AZ or the Acerola. I don't want to drop a floatstone. Maybe I should drop an item. So I could drop the whistle. Drop a rock ruff. I don't like dropping a rock ruff. You guys see how like how much we're crawling for basics. So having that extra rock ruff is really useful. But Marsh Shadow for Shining Legends. See, I want to do that, but there's too many outs to it in Expanded. Like, it's not standard. Standard, it makes a lot of sense, because you guys saw my Zoric, like, my Zoric Marshadow super nasty video that I did. But it makes more sense in the standard, because there's a lot less outs. And Expanded, where, like, half the format's Nightmarts, the other, the, the other half is Zoric. It's, like, so easy to get out of it, so I'm not worried. I don't really want to do that. Definitely don't want to drop Skyfield, so we're not going to do that. I don't want to drop Whistle, because Whistle's too good. In this deck, specifically, there's too many matchups where Whistle is useful. Hmm. That sucks, we just lost our win streak. I think it's time to drop AZ. I just don't like the idea of dropping AZ. But I guess it's time. It is time, my friends. It has been good to see you, sir. But uh, Ranger is much needed. Uh, 
Yeah, I got the full R2 clean. All right, so hopefully we have an out to uh, those garbage matchups. Because <laughs> we can stall against Viper, against Vi Toad Viper. That's not a big deal. Uh, the issue with the matchup is the item lock in general because we play like puzzles and stuff like that. And by the time we play Ranger, most cases we'll have a big hand and we'll have a lot to do and we'll have Zorax down that can trade. So, like we're going to spend that turn just playing Seeker to get all of our stuff back, including Ranger as well. Hmm. What about Breakthrough Marowak? If we had like a reason, like like the deck space is kind of tight, so like as cool as Marowak would be, I don't think it's necessary. Because like Maxi wouldn't help us use our Lycanroc effect, so Maxi's not that useful. We're never gonna have an empty hand because that's just like that's not how Zoark works, right? You're not playing Zoark to trade and then having more cards in your hand. It just doesn't make sense. It's counterintuitive. Um, Hmm. Hem, hem, hem. Uh, I don't know. Have you ever built a Marowak break deck? Oh, absolutely not. That's way behind my time. I was, uh, I wasn't doing a lot of TCG videos when that came out, so no. But also, it's bad, which is why I haven't done it either. Like, People misunderstand. Just because I play fun decks doesn't mean I play bad decks. I always play decks that are decent. <laughs> oh, Marowak's cool, right? Because you can stop item luck like with the other Marowak. I don't know. I might have to look into it. Maybe we can play in a standard. Standard Marowak break, bro. I, this is about the time. Should I add it to the list? Should I add it to the list? <laughs> kind of want to add it to the list. Marowak's cool. I wish that we could... Uh... Well, actually, technically, you could play... Well, the interesting thing about it is that you could play a Marowak with the new Alolan Marowak. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Thoughts are swimming through my head right now. Thoughts are swimming through my head right now. Hmm. How does this work? Oh, it's fire energies. I thought it was any energy. See, if it was any energy, we would rock with it. It would be so much better. Because we could just have this Marowak here, accelerating energies with fire. And then we could be accelerating energies, I mean, and then be attacking with this. What does this do again? Bone Revenge. This attack does 40 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Oh, it's like Cobalion, but worse, because you're not a basic. This does 32 a bench. This is whatever EX is. You don't want to play that. What does this do? Loop two coins attack with 60 damage times the number of heads. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this deck is bad. We know it's all. Why do all these cards do flipping? That's interesting. We could play. Uh, what is this? Flip two coins, take the same damage for each heads. If either of them is heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Should we play a Flip Teeny? <laughs> flip Teeny Marowak. Is that the, is that the new meta, guys? With like the one break for like late game, bro. I think we just. I think we just. Uh, I think we just uh, created the new meta. What about going to one Sycamore? Nah, I feel like, the, as you can see, with against item lock, we kind of want our Sycamore. Um, but, but, I could see the argument for it. So if I ever feel like I need to add another card and drop one, Sycamore's probably the next thing to go. You have Zoark and N. What's up, what do you mean, Brian? Speaking of which, I need to check my trades. Zoark and N. Oh yeah, for the sycamore. I can no, I can see dropping. That's what I'm saying. I can see dropping the sycamore, but uh, for the time being, we're gonna leave two in there just because consistency is nice. It's not trades. That is not trades. These are trades. Beef and chapro. Beefy chapro. Got three trades. What is this? Oh yeah, I don't remember if this is the dude that won it. Uh, if, I don't remember who it was, so I don't have any. I don't have two axes, my dude. Uh, so if you could trade, change that. I only have the one. Actually, hold up. What does this axe even do? Is it good? It doesn't look like it's good. It's colorless. It has no weakness. That's actually pretty interesting. Hmm. I don't think I want to trade that axe. You, <laughs> actually. Uh. 
Yeah, it's my only one. Can we trade for something else? I'm just gonna reject the trade for now. But like, you can grab anything else you want, but I kinda, when I only have a one of card of something, I wanna keep it. I am giving a Zork. Ooh, look at this man gave me a Hex and 10 full arts. Unfortunately for you, as much as I want this Hex, I do need to uh, keep these Zoroarks because they're part of the monthly giveaway. For every dollar you donate, well, you have a chance to win. And we have less than 10 people that have entered. So if you want a chance to win, uh, December 1st is when we're announcing the winners of the giveaway. We're giving away Hyper Rare, Regular Zoroarks, Hyper Rare Silvalis, Secret Rare DCEs on the PCGO. So if you want a chance to win, donate a single dollar and you have a really good chance to win that way. Just because we have so little people that donate this month, just because of the holidays. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of people didn't have enough money to uh, offer to the ore bomb industries, but it's okay. I don't mind. I don't. People, people gotta do what they gotta do, bro. That hex is looking nice. What I'm saying, bro. Speaking of hex and looking nice, my boy Carl, we're working out a trade right now. My dude's thinking about giving me like those all all the full arts from like a box except for the end. My boy Carl, bro. If you ever if you watch this later, bro, comment comment below so everybody can love your comment. Uh, why play Sick more when you can play Waifu Juniper instead? Dude, me and Juniper are having a falling out right now. I remember saying that Juniper always gives you better draws, but ever since I did, said that, Juniper has just got she's just got really uppity with me lately and just giving me some really bad hands when I played her. So, you know, me and Juniper are taking a break. We're not we're not like split up forever, but we th we were thinking about it. We know we think this break, this little break, is uh is gonna be healthy. So that's that's what's going on. But hey, don't 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 get don't get any wrong ideas. She's still my woman. All right. So you better keep your distance. But it's taking a break right now. Got all the farts from Crimson Shadows, dude. I got them all from Burning Invasions. Oh, <laughs> speaking of the box. That's a. That, that, is it just me or does that coin look stupid to you guys? I feel like that coin looks really dumb. Like people really like the coin, and it's only because of like it's. Oh my god. Yeah, I think we're gonna. This is the last game of the night, big boys and girls. Cause, uh, yikes, <laughs> yikes. Sycamore's rebound, but like Sycamore has that chest, bro. Like, have you seen mm, Sycamore's handsome? Oh, we're playing against Guardy. Oh, this is a rough matchup. Uh. Lycanroc's gonna be good. Target Whistle helps a lot with Lycanroc's GX attack, so we do want to set up a Lycanroc. Having more than one waifu will destroy your laifu. <laughs> this is not TCG harem, guys, alright? I've got a... Uh... Ooh, there we go. That literally just made everything better. Well, kind of. Because, like, I still don't have a draw supporter. Who's a little awk. Um... Oh, I almost clicked done. Uh, how do I want to approach this? Do I want to just play N, turn one? We have a Sycamore prize, something worth mentioning. Because, like, not... Hmm. I want to play Bridget, but we're stuck after that, and I don't want to rely on not being stuck. Like, I don't want to rely on top decks, but we don't even have a Zoric in our hand. So I think I'm going to play... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think I'm going to play N. Kikui's right at Kikui, bro. He knows what I like, you know. Kikui, me and Kikui go way back. <laughs> All right, we'll play in here. I guess. Hopefully, we can get some Zorwas. It's uh, not what I was hoping for, but ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Cause we're still stuck, which isn't great. Yeah. That was a really bad opening hand. See, that's what I mean. Like the the worst part about Zoark is the are those opening hands, dude. Those opening hands are rough. There's Skyla, Juniper, Cynthia, Olivia, Wick. So it's Pokemon Harem to a certain point. So <laughs> you right, but they're not all in my deck, bro. The only ones that are in my deck are uh, the ones that are adults. Which one are the adults? Because Ace Roll is not an adult. Uh. Which one do I have in my, in my deck? I actually don't know. Oh, Bridget. Dude, Bridget's my girl. Oh, we got N, so this is actually pretty decent now. We can uh, play Bridget here. Then N next turn. Cynthia will soon be in here. Dude, in Colrus, bro? Dude, 
Chorus, bro. Chorus, bro. Chorus, bro. <laughs> One, two, three. I kind of want to switch. Maybe I should put a rock roof down. I don't know. I don't think I want to. I'll just pass. What do I have in here? I have an egg. All right, cool. <sighs> Dude, Nebby. <laughs> I love looking at the chat randomly because, like, uh, it's been the like, last couple of streams I've seen Nebby just like bringing out the roast hands, rubbing them together, and just destroying someone. You're too much of an idiot, an uneducated idiot to understand that because of how blind and ignorant you are, bro. Nebby, put those hands away. Put those roast hands away, bro. Put them in your pockets. Did you feel like uh, they were given a ladder for a few weeks ago? I believe so, yeah. Dude, Nebby is just not. Dude, Nebby's mean. I think I've come to the conclusion that Nebby's actually really mean. <laughs> Nebby's got Nebby got claustrophobic after being in the bag, bro. Don't have a rare candy, by the way. Don't do it. I want to keep my rock rifle alive. Oh, he got. He has rare candy, man. That's sad. That means been savage, that's what I'm saying, bro. The chat's just so fun and sometimes. My throat is actually killing me, and I definitely have to end the stream after this. Wow. Like I feel like my throat is like bleeding. It's really bad. So I need you to whiff fairy energy. Can you do that for me, buddy? You did? No, you didn't whiff it. Did you whiff it? You whiffed it, right? Yeah, you whiffed it, didn't you? Oh my god, how does this man have so many things out already? Alright. Oh, he has Gallade too. Alright, it's a GG, boys and girls. <laughs> it's a GG, boys and girls. So the cool thing about this is that if I were to get like a really decent N off this, and we're getting like Floatstone, Zoark, on all the works, I can actually knock out this Gallade. So let's see if I can get like the most beast of Zorax here. Or most beast of uh, ends here. After I play Shaman down, of course. But I want that, I want that, I want that baby. Come to me. Come to Daddy Aura. Alright, so I need this I need this Guardian to not beat me, because Guardian's like my worst matchup, right? So I don't know how to beat it. <laughs> I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you guys, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I don't really wanna evolve into this. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really want to. It helps me get two KOs, I guess. Whatever, we'll see how risky of a play we're gonna make here. Alright, I need the most powerful N of all time. Let's get it. Alright, and I need you to get me a Floatstone and a Zoric GX. <sighs> Do I have enough to knock it out? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't. I think I might have celebrated a little bit too early, guys. Seven. No, I do, because I can put an egg down if I absolutely have to. Um, I want to keep Field Blower in case of choice bands. Some job base roll. Can I get down one more Pokemon? Just one more Pokemon. One more Pokemon. <sighs> it's not a Pokemon. All right, egg. So you're going to have to be feeling a weird purpose today. Because in order for me to hit 150... I need to have six Pokemon down. Maybe Muscle Bands to play. Something to consider. Stand in. Hmm. I hate that I have to put down an egg. But it's fine. That Glade is a threat. So Dara goes. I know what I what you can do to beat it. 
Go into the bathroom and stare into the mirror at yourself while saying, you can do it. You can do it. All right, so this man needs to not have three energies or a choice band. One, two, three, four, five, six. He needs seven energies between the two of us. So I need him to not be able. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it did not work out like I was hoping. Hmm. Dude, now I want to play. Now I want to play uh, E hammers, bro. I just want to play so much. <clears throat> He's gonna put Gallade back. No. I've been thinking there are so many cards that are played in each set. It kind of makes me sad, bro. You know what I've been thinking? I'm thinking about making a tier list of sets, right? Where uh, you have like tier list S, A, B, and failing. Because <laughs> usually if you're below B, they're probably bad cards. And then like we're gonna create a tier list where you can only play Pokemon, where you can only play cards that are B or tier below and make a good deck out of it. That's the new meta, guys. That's what we're doing next. So Lycanroc's not gonna really be able to do much this game from the looks of it. And we're gonna have to choose a fodder here, I think. Because we don't really have a way. I guess we can weaken him with this and hit it for like 50, putting in a range of a banded Zoark. We can try that, I guess. But I'm losing a band here, which means I have to rely on puzzles. Because this Lycan Rock's not going to be able to attack because I have Soto Widow down. I'll play you down here, I guess. Do I have an, I can end my opponent down to four. But then I don't draw Zoroas. I could also bridge it here, put down some Zoroas down. Uh, I kind of want to end, but whatever. Like, this is a losing matchup. I might as well go all in. Clean. He's gonna get a knockout, which would open up my Lele play. Let me put down another Zorua. There we go. Maxed out on Zorua's. And we should have we should have him in range of a banded attack. Banded Zorak GX attack. So that's gonna be the goal for next turn. Mind Jack here. Evolution is the PU of PTCGO. You are hundred percent right, bro. Man, setting up in the back. I'm not a fan. Not a fan of this. Not a fan of this. So, can we beat Guardy? I don't think we can. The Guardy matchup is super rough. Uh, there's not really good steel type attackers and expanded that can get Okos. And there's not really any energy acceleration in. This is a little bit rough. There's not really energy acceleration in this format. Yeah, now we don't have... I mean, we're going to have room by playing down Lele, but that's not, that's not ideal. Um, in this format, so we have no way to like accelerate energies easily. That Gallade is back. The dreadful Gallade. I'm going to skip it up, guys. I don't think I can win this game. He's too far ahead. He has two attackers ready, so there's not much I can do. Even if I do knock out Guardi, Gallade can just come in and... Uh, destroy me. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, I don't know what to do about that. The Guardian matchup is like impossible. Nelson was telling me he wanted to play Gumshoes in here. I got 1 1 Gumshoes line. Because his GX attack will just blow it away for one energy. Gumshoe's Chance does 50 damage times the number of energy they have attached, so in that case we would have hit it for 250. The possibilities, bro. Actually 260, right? If they would only have 4 energies attached, which they kind of have to have 4, right? They have to have a minimum of 4 to knock out a Zoark, 
We hit it for 200 with choice bandits and knock good every time. And you get to use search supremacists, bro. I mean, like, let's be real. <laughs> I don't know, man, but this chat's about to be demonetized. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. What would you play for a guardy? Because, like, you could change the energies to metal and then just never attack with Lycanroc. But then you'd have to play something that can attack with, like, a single metal energy, and that's kind of hard to do. Let's see, basic metal. There's not much in this format at all. Cartana. Celestia. I mean, Celestia can attack for metal in DC, but it would need choice ban. I mean, like, Celestia, I was, I was talking about the only thing I could really think about playing is Celestia if I wanted to help with Guardi. Just because it has so much HP and it Okos with choice band. But it's like, it's still not. It's like two attachments that you don't have time to do most of the time. Stardust Jirachi, but it's like, that's cool and all, but it's not going to get any knockouts. What the heck is this? <laughs> I've never seen this card. The attack does 30 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon. Yikes. Um, play Gillespot or Gardevoir? Four Gardevoir? Like, what? <laughs> Gillespot Zoark, you mean? Like, just straight up? But then I'm like taking out the Lycanrocks. You want me to play like a 1 1 line of Glisspot or a 2 1 line of Glisspot so I can have two Wimpods down? But then I'd have to play Grass Energies as well. I mean, it's interesting conceptually, right? You, uh. You play more Acerola. Maybe like two Acerola. But how do you find the space for that? I don't know. You would need to have two Wimpods down, right? Because like that's the whole purpose of Glitzpot is that you can uh, devolve, re-evolve in the same turn. Oh, look for Age of Slash doesn't do enough because Age of Slash will only hit for like um, a hundred. Did I spell it? I don't know. Apparently, I don't own the card. Uh -oh. This attack does 20 damage for each metal energy attached to this Pokemon, yeah. So you can only hit for 80. Um, what was that, 140 with a choice band? And if you attach like one metal energy, you're doing like 8, or you're doing 60, which is 90, which becomes 180 with a choice band. So you're still not doing enough. Two one Ghost Spot, 1-1 one, one Lycanroc? Nah. Lycanroc is too good. Like, Lycanroc will win you the matchup against Guardi if you don't have like a rough start like I did, you know what I mean? Because if you lead not rock rough, you have your all your Zoros down after like a bridge or something like that, then you just kind of like pull up the things that you can actually knock out. It's just like, it's annoying for Guardi because Guardi has such an easy time knocking you out in return because there's just four energies, no, four energies and a choice band that they have to attach, which is just so easy for Guardi to do. I do like the idea that abilities keep disease from affecting him, though. So I do like that. But it's like, whatever, they'll just play Guzma at some point. Or Sycamore, or, or Lysander, or whatever. And we have a big bench full of Pokemon. So, still a yikes. So, I don't know. That's the only thing I could see being an issue for Zora Klackenrock, is uh, Guardi. And I don't know any easy ways to work around Guardi in this deck other than the fact that Guardi is a stage 2 deck <laughs> and stage 2 problems Clefairy uh, Clefairy what's Clefairy do? Clefairy's not a DC though well the reason, another thing I liked about it is uh, the Zorg I was talking about I just spelled Zoro. How am I, uh... I'm, am I crazy? That's I'm spelling that. That's how I'm spelling it. 
Why isn't it showing me I don't own it? Oh, because of the filter. That's right. See, that's why I wanted to play the Zoark in this deck. I just remembered. Um, the foul play Zoark, or the, I guess, nasty plot, whatever you want to call it, is so good in the matchup. Because, like, all you do is you just focus on playing these Zoarks down, right? And then you just uh, you hit Guardy for whatever amount that you need it for. Because you're gonna have they're gonna have five energies attached to them, maybe four in a choice band. You play your two, so that means you're hitting it for two ten in return. Minus twenty is one ninety. See, that's the only issue, right? Is that you don't hit for enough, but you're a one prize attacker hitting for enough <laughs> for hitting for a lot with this Zoark. Because I just, I just want to play more of these, you know what I mean? It's really good. It's really good stuff. Maybe I should play Kikui. Who knows? The fairy is this one, with metronome. But I suppose that's a 3 energy attack, while Zoark does the same thing, but it's a 2 energy attack. So DC. Um, yeah, Zoric Break is the same thing, but it's one energy to cost with a little bit more HP. So that's why it's like whatever. I'd rather play that other Zoric than play Zoric Break. I don't know, man. It's tough. It is tough. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Hmm. I might work on. I don't know, if anybody has those Foul Play Zoriks, the, uh, I'm sorry, Nasty Pod Zoriks, let me know. We can definitely try to work out some sort of trade, because I don't, I don't mind actually making a decent trade, as long as it's not like a giveaway item. I don't mind making a decent trade for that card, just because obviously we need it for the channel. Uh, so if anybody has those, let me know. It'll be worth testing them out. But for the time being, I am going to end the stream. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like if you have not already. We've been getting... We Shout out to you guys. We have 20 people here, but we have 32 likes. People that have been showing up have been doing such a good job liking the stream. Shout outs to all of you guys for really coming through as of late. You guys have definitely helped grow this channel immensely for a long time now. So you guys have been awesome. Uh, but other than that, I think I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully with another video if I get time to record it. Uh, if you have anything in particular you want to see me play, let me know. We will work on playing it for you guys, but until next time, peace.